exudes that into game one of this losing semis match. All right, we got the Johan back. Yeah. Again, Nunenity, the solo representative. Everybody else, too. They were sticking to the top two, they were sticking to the king. And uh, Nunenity struggling a little bit, but dealing some serious damage. Oh my goodness. Yes, they've also, also thrown out supers straight from the gate. Okay, have to deal with that like speed up hill, but okay, no entity just able to fight back the best that they possibly can in that moment. This has been a very back and forth game thus far. Yes, yeah, slugging it right back and forth, throwing out everything they possibly can at each other constantly. Oh yeah. And it looks like uh, non entity is having a little bit of a di difficulty keeping up with just the series of different lane changes uh, coming out from Architecture Cafe. And with that, even though. They were just trading back and forth at the end. Uh, Our Container Cafe able to take game one. Yeah, again, I feel like just aggressive. Aggressive play in the beginning of any game, especially something like a rhythm battling game, it seems to seems to really be like the name of the game, right? Because if you can just assert that stage, if you can assert like that sort of like momentum before they can, uh, momentum is everything in, in a rhythm game, honestly. Yep. All right, quickly, quickly into round two. Yeah, let's see how this one goes. Okay, they're both just starting off with a couple of prefix, and I gotta say, when it comes to just raw execution, Nonentity is coming out like on top, like ever so slightly. Yeah, but it really is just coming out to the strategic use of super that is causing Mark Container Cafe to edge out here. Oh, what a reversal, that was so cool. I believe that was actually Johan's EX, which can cancel other moves and it consumes some of your H stack. So that is a little bit interesting in like how it functions. It's, it is effectively a counter. Ooh, a nice four hit combo to Hark and Tanger Cafe from Mount Andy there. But uh, with as soon as I say that, they just start slugging back and forth. So the notes added to the other lane just caused Hark and Cafe to take a lot of damage there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and if this keeps up, you gotta stream. stream. You gotta make sure that you have it. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Okay, both of them staying alive. Who's actually gonna be the first one to go here? It's mm. gonna be the Heart Container Cafe. That was so close at the end. Yeah, and you can just see the sigh of relief right there from Han Entity. Like, ooh, barely clutched that one out. Yeah, definitely feeling a little bit good about themselves. But I gotta say, so I don't fully know how Gage stacks. Uh, like in this game, but I'm pretty sure the reversal that we did see uh, from like Johan from Nonentity was actually like pretty impressive. Especially if somebody's putting a lot of stuff out there like King, just to be able to like nullify that immediately is is huge. Alright, yeah, game number three, the final game between the two for the friendly fire and they're heading back to you know the whole Neo Tokyo theme. Oh, and we just get a level one straight out the gate from Ron Envy, adding the notes, and then a uh, response back with another level one from King. Oh, yeah. Just a really, like, slow-paced match. Nobody's dealt with serious damage quite yet. And again, there it is. Those reversals just constantly canceling out uh, whatever the Heart Container Cafe is putting out there. Going a little slower this time, both players uh, playing a really good defensive game here this time. And now the chart's starting to pick up more and see a little more damage being taken by non here and Hard to Yeah, this is the most like, even game we've had thus far. I also feel like this song has been gentle. Compared to like some of the other maps previously, this one has been like a little bit lighter on uh, competitive scene. But now it's starting to pick up, so uh, let's see who's just in the presence of mind to keep it going. Ooh, that could, that could have been so huge, but yeah, no, Hard Container Cafe just like made sure to execute, didn't take like too much damage though. The slow chip coming in ever so. Ooh, okay. Uh, the super there, caught on it, Nenity. Dude, that EX, what do you do about that? That EX is just so powerful. No, Nenity was just like not ready for it. Was already like struggling, stumbling just like a little tiny bit, and then all of a sudden you have to speed up all these notes, and you're like, whoa, buddy. What just happened to me? What's going on? I have all this stuff on the screen that I have to deal with. Uh, and, and it's just, man, G King's kind of busted. <laughs> yeah, this is, seems like the, the clear top tier right now. His EX alone.
You don't even need anything. You can you sure you can use his like level one special, but his EX alone is just like enough to uh, just like completely like change like the tides of the momentum and like throw your opponent yep. like um like, make them like really like throw them into the game. If I your guess. defense, if your opponent is purely defensive, that's gonna basically rock them. Yeah. For sure. So. In the meantime, let's throw it to a MC. We only have a few more sets coming on up. Uh, 